For nearly 50 years, Folie Berger showed its glitz and glam along the Las Vegas Strip, and now you can relive the legendary show through a couple new exhibits, which play an important part in our entertainment history. And here with more is Karen Fetter. She's with the Nevada State Museum, Las Vegas. Also, also with us is former Follies cast member, that is Angela Santangelo. It's great having both of you. How are you? Thank you. Good to be here. Uh, Thank you. I feel like I'm in a jungle right yeah. now. It's amazing <laughs> with all the feathers. Uh, explain a, a bit about this new exhibit. So this exhibit runs concurrently at the Nevada State Museum Las Vegas okay. and the Las Vegas Convention Center. And it includes many um, never before seen photographs from the News Bureau's archive and a number of costumes that are a part of the Nevada State Museum's costume collection, Foley Berger costume collection. Wow. And we're taking a look at some photos right now from the Las Vegas News Bureau. And these, I mean, th these photos go back many, many years. Yeah, the show opened in 1959. So the photos span 1959 through the show's run end at 2009. That's incredible. And Angela, you were with the production for, for the, the final nine years of the yes. production. What, yes. tell, tell me what it was like to be a part of this. It was absolutely amazing just to be in this history. And, and we're amongst so, some of the pieces that you, you wore, for example, that I great piece there. I wore this one, closing night of the show. Tell yes. us your nickname for this headdress. <laughs> he has a nickname of Artie. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but... Do, do you, there there has to be a card next to this. Yeah, right, right, this is, right. This is Artie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so tell us why uh, Las Vegas News Bureau and, and, and Nevada State Museum Las Vegas, they, they teamed up for this. Well, um, sort of at the same time... Uh, 2015, early 2015, the Nevada State Museum acquired the what was left of the Foley Berger costume collection. Uh, the Tropicana donated it to our museum. Mm -hmm. About the same time, the News Bureau realized that they had in their collection a number of undeveloped photographs from the Foley Berger stage. No yeah. The News Bureau would go out to every new edition of the Foley Berger, take pictures, and only a handful were ever developed and made accessible to the public. Wow. So they decided because the museum had got this new collection, maybe that they would be super helpful for us to try to identify uh, costumes because these, these photos that the News Bureau have are of costumes on stage, which really is helpful for the museum to identify and put parts and pieces and make complete costumes. So the News Bureau, I think, over 5,000 photographs they developed from their archive. So wow. this exhibit includes a lot that no one has ever seen before. Even the News Bureau hadn't seen these. No kidding. And there's two exhibits on display. Right. Uh, Las Vegas Convention Center okay. and the Nevada State Museum. The same photographs are seen at each exhibit, but different archival costumes are seen at each location. Excellent. So do, do, we, do we have a description on each piece that we have here? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. so this is... A, Artie. This is Artie. <laughs> this was seen in the Can Can scene at the Folie Berger, first designed in 1975 and worn through the very last the show, very end. The very yes. end. Wow. So decades and decades, this headdress appeared on costume. This this costume, I mean, this headdress, the big kind of is like an animated stuffed mm -hmm. animal for some. It's like the most fantastic. Try getting through a door jam. With yeah, this right. On. You have yeah. to <laughs> sideways. So this is a little later, 2001, designed by Jerry Jackson. And then the red and black one is 1997, again designed by Jerry Jackson. And Angela wore this headdress, mm -hmm. too, in the show. My goodness. Well, so you see the scale of them, right? No I mean, kidding. there's nothing easy about carrying these headdresses as a showgirl and making it look effortless. Heavy is the head that wears the headpiece. Yes. Yeah, so tell, tell me about the, uh, how many roles did you play in the course of your nine years? Oh, goodness. Um, I was cast as a showgirl, a tall dancer, and a short dancer, <laughs> and also... Did, did yeah. you grow in height yeah. during this? <laughs> right, right. So I guess I was pretty versatile. So I played a lot of roles throughout the years. When, the when you got the role in the first place, mm -hmm. to, to actually know that you're going to be part of such an amazing production mm -hmm. like this, something that's, that's so epic and meant so much, especially here in Las Vegas, yeah. uh, what, what, what was that moment like for you? I just felt like royalty. I mean, I, I knew it was special. And, the, yes. and the, the, the sad part is, is you, you look at the Las Vegas landscape, yes. this is gone. Like yeah, there, there is, there is a, a show like this does not exist anymore, it no. feels like. Yeah. And, uh, I figure that era has closed. I mean, there really was a beginning, middle, and end to that era in this town. And there may, it may be cyclical. We may, like in a number of years, feel like we want now. to, yeah, present mm -hmm. that look again. But it definitely, yeah, the door has, once Jubilee closed, that was really the last vestige of, of the cabaret show. Absolutely, uh, th which is why it's so important to have a display like this. How long will this be on display? Through January 15th. Okay, so we have some time. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's good, are you gonna yeah. be there daily? 
Yes. 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 She's, she's like, I'm ready. She'll be on site. Uh, yes. it's, it's, it's a pleasure having you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. It's a really, really great Thank event. You've got to make sure you take this uh, yeah. take part in this and, and take a look. Entertaining Las Vegas, one rhinestone at a time. It's presented by both the Las Vegas News Bureau and Nevada State Museum Las Vegas. There's two exhibits. One's at the Las Vegas Convention Center and the other one's at the Nevada State Museum Las Vegas. And for more information, visit one of the websites listed. Also, if you visit the LVCVA website, you can go to What We Do and click on the News Bureau. And do you know someone who truly makes a difference in the community? Yeah.